Hey, this is Bob. Hi, Bob. It's uh, Jason Curtis speaking all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. How are you? Hey, Jason. How are you today? I'm well, thank you. You. Um, it's a uh, must admit it, a great pleasure to actually be speaking to you. I'm um, I'm one of those sad people. I'm a fan as much as a journalist. So. Oh, that's we need more of those actually. <laughs> well, we could need more just actual music fans these days. It would help. True, true, true. Yeah, we fight the good fight. Well, I appreciate that. But congratulations. Yeah, well, thanks. Um, yeah, the I guess we're talking. Uh, which of the records do you have? Do you just did modulate? You modulate so far? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we waiting for the other two. I must admit, uh, I, I nearly fell over backwards when I heard that you were going to put out three albums in the space of uh, well, in the space of a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, the, uh, the the second record, the Loud Bomb record, which is a, a lot more just ambient electronic, has been. Um, you know, we've, I've been selling that one on the road in the states and through you know through my website since the middle of March. Mm. Uh, we just haven't put it into retail yet, and I think Cooking Vinyl, which is the the company that's handling things for us outside the U.S., is is wanting to wait on that. So, okay. But, but uh, yeah, in the, in the uh, third record body of song is about two thirds finished. I actually need to get that need to get that finished next month so it can come out early next year. Brilliant, brilliant. And how's it been? I mean, it's been a, um, a, a totally different way of working for you, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I, I, you know, on all fronts, I think you know, business wise, you know, Granary Music now is a you know, as a true standalone in, independent label in the U.S., you know, we do all the all the, the manufacturing, the distribution. You know, we've we've arranged you know we've arranged a distribution deal once we have everything finished, just to, to get it at, into stores. Um, you know, that part's different. I think you know, compositionally, the way Modulate was put together and you know the way it was recorded was very different as well. So, you know, sonically, it's a lot, it's a it's a lot different than any of you any of the other records that I've made, although I think, you know, songwriting wise you can still tell who it is. Yes. But um yeah, yeah there's been you know been a lot of changes. You know, the, the the touring so far this year has been uh has been really good. I did uh, did a couple of months of of uh, the multimedia tour that I put together. I did you know, about thirty shows in the US and that was uh you know, me playing, me playing live to audio and video track. Brilliant. And uh, put together about a hundred minutes of original film content. You know, uh, worked with a lot of different filmmakers in New York uh, to put the put the show together. And it was it was it was again something completely different. I had no idea what it would look like or how it would turn out. And it, I liked it, and, and I think people people responded well to it too. Mm. You know, it was it was real different for people. Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the idea so, into all of this. So sure, I think you've achieved that. I mean, as I said, um, having only heard Modulate at this point, and just going through you know through the website and seeing what you've been up to, um, it's almost as if um, you know you're in a place where there are no rules. You know, there are no boundaries. The, the boundaries that will be created by you alone should you choose to put them there, which I think is a fantastic place to be as a musician. Yeah, it's um, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I'm feeling these days, and I think you know the the main reason is you know deciding not to work with the traditional label system in America. It uh, it just takes all the it takes all the people who have all the the ideas that you know if you just did this, if you just did that, if you just you know it's like. I, I'm pretty self-aware. I know if I did certain things, I would probably sell more records. But you know, <laughs> if you know, I sort of know how to. I sort of know how to turn the screw to make the two pieces of wood stay together. Sure. If I choose to do that, but it's you know, and that's not saying that I wouldn't do that. It just at this point in my life, you know, it. Uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, my influences the past couple of years, the things I've been listening to musically have very little to do with indie rock. And I, I think that's probably because indie rock has been such a sad, sad thing for five years. It's, well, it's, uh, because you're, you're, it's because you're not making the music anymore, you see. No, it's, it's because, it's, it's because, it's because a, a, a once sort of vibrant formula for putting music together has been sort of been aped by those same companies that I just mentioned. <laughs> Foist upon, foist upon young bands who really had no idea what they were doing, and so you know, it's not not to say that it's all bad. But you, you, you're a fan, you know what's been going on. So, 
you know, the carbon copy uh, post Nirvana thing has been. It's a sad state when you hear about it. Mm. It's been tired for a while, you know, and, and and I think I think what I think what the kids have been doing, you know, what the, the kid what the kids have been doing. <laughs> the, uh, well, just I mean, you know, technology has gotten cheaper and. and and people are, you know, people are able to experiment with sound, you know, in many different versions, you know, whether it's hip hop or, you know, all the different electronic genres that are out there. And that, to me, sonically, is way more interesting than yet another band, you know, with a quiet verse and a loud chorus. So, mm, mm. because in a way, it was like, uh, you know, it, it would seem that you almost put yourself in this situation yeah, and wanted to do these albums not to maybe test yourself but just to see whether or how you would interpret you know the use thereof and, and what you could come up with as you know as a person yeah but part of it to me part of it to me was just you know getting a you know for I got went through a period of time where I really wasn't looking at the guitar as a writing instrument okay. and just cutting up sound and moving it around was you know it was pretty fascinating to me and there's always the danger of going too far into that, you know, into that world where you just don't get back out. And, you know, I think I could have gone there. I'm, I'm now, you know, I'm now back playing the guitar a lot more and feeling good about that. But it was just, you know, it, it was knowing that for 20 plus years, I, I had sort of relied on a certain style that, that came to me by accident, I guess. And, I just, you know, just for my own sake, needed to shake it up. You know, in, in 98, the, the Last Dog and Pony show, mm. a fine record, but, uh, you know, when I stepped back from it, I was like, you know, I've written these songs a lot of times. Yeah. And, you know, if I just continue to repeat this record, it's not going to be, it might be, it might be fun for a few people, but for me, I don't think it would, it would be, there wouldn't be much growth there. Mm -hmm. You know? You know, ideally now, I think having having done modulate and loud bomb and still working on electronic stuff, it's really gotten me interested in the guitar stuff again, mm -hmm. and maybe finding ways to better incorporate the new colors and the new palettes that I'm working with. You know, modulate to work. Modulate was a work in progress. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. well, was it good to be in that place where you could do that and put it out there? Um, and let the audience decide and almost perhaps guide you in a way or not a little bit yeah I mean I've, I've, got, I've got a I've got a good sense of what uh, you know where, where people's thresholds are now <laughs> <laughs> which is you know which is good I mean it's better than just like another oh Bob made another good record <laughs> it's terrible it's been, it's been fun it's been fun to see some of the antagonism and some of the confusion it's uh you know, I, 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 at that point, I feel my, I feel much better about that. Mm. It makes me feel stronger about my work than just, from, you know, than just people just sort of saying, "Oh, it's good, it's Bob, it's good." It's because you, know. yeah, you could have, like you said, you know the formula so well, you could have continued doing it infinitum. But uh, rather, in a way, in a way, I think it's probably respecting the audience as well by saying to them, "Well, I'm not going to feed you." more of the same I'm going to yes I'm going to turn it on its head I'm going to turn it upside down and, and see what comes out the other end and I think for the most part I'm sure those fans have stayed with you yeah there's been people that, there's been people who have been really perceptive and seen it for what it is and, and really appreciate it and have, and it's opened them up to a new kind of music and then there's and then there's the people who always said you know we want Bob to, to grow and do things different and the second they got this they were like we don't want this <laughs> the old stuff I was like yeah everybody says they want something different and then you know when when they get it then they're not sure what to do with it so but you guys have, you know, it, it's been good it's been fine but I think that's the most important thing isn't it I mean to be at the place you are um, in your career to be able to do music that you can put your you know put your name to and uh, yes you know be it good or bad whatever that response may be but for it to be a, a good representation of where your head's at rather than as you say it being that of a, a label uh, trying to maneuver you within a you know within a within the style of music that's currently popular yeah exactly it's this is this is what it, you know this the past, this year so far has reminded me a lot more of when i started this whole thing many years ago you know having to you know put you know put my you know put everything on the line myself yeah you know again not looking not looking for financial support not looking for 
Yeah, it's pretty much ta- it's pretty much taking a whole new you know a whole new thing. Granted, there's a brand name, I guess there you know sure. it's got some value, but but you know otherwise it's been pretty pretty damn punk rock in its own way. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't sound like it, but it sure feels like it to me. It's, yeah, I mean it's, I think in a way, in a, in a way if um, if you could be an ambassador for the music that you create, um, you certainly have the the balls, for lack of a better word, to stand up and say, well, I'm going to put this out. And yes, convention tells me otherwise, but music has to move on. I mean, I think your frustration with the state of music, um, you know, the reason for these albums is probably in a way um, part of a reaction to that and saying, but hold on, there is more to, you know, people can create new music. Um, Yeah. And set a level for you know for again the majors to pick up on your ideas and and bastardize it a million different ways. Well, it's just it's it's, it's I mean music you know music is you know I mean it's supposed to be about the muse it's supposed to be about the you know the things that that lead you through life you know the the, the you know your the, the things that you chase the ideas that you're trying to refine and. You know, at least in, in, in the American pop culture scheme right now, there is no time for finding, you know, the perfect way to say something. So sure. you know, it's, it's, you know, it's very much, everything is soundbite oriented. There's no hit, there's no sense of history, you know, and there's no sense of, of identity to a lot of what's going on. Mm. It's, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty faceless. You know, one face in the crowd stands out, and then everyone starts to look like that face. Mm, mm. And you know, it, it runs across all forms of our culture right now. And you know, that's our you know that's been our main export for so many years. Sure. You know, as a country, is is our culture. And it's it's pretty sad to think that people would follow the lead of American pop culture right now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. (laughs) But I mean, it must be, uh, I mean, as far as, um, as far as you're concerned, um, when you, when you reflect on, on the decisions that you made and the albums that you, you know, are now, that have done and are completing, um, are you, are you happy um, with the result? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I think I think in the in the timeline, you know, I'm, again, I'm always sort of aware because I don't plan on stopping. Which so is good. I always, you know, I always know that what I've what I've just what I'm doing or what I've just done will ultimately only be part of a timeline. Mm. So, you know, maybe years from now, people will, you know, maybe it will make sense more to me. It will make sense more to the people who didn't understand it the first time around. But, you know, that's, it's like time will tell. You know, so I, I, I'm, I'm happy with it for the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm really proud of the records. And, you know, I think, I think they got a little bit of a, a little bit of a bad rap just because they were so different and it really caught people off guard. Right. But, I, you know, I, I think in the grand scheme of it, it's always a work in progress. It's always trying to get to the next place. So, so I mean, with that in mind, I mean, would, could you have or would you have been able to do what you've done? I mean, you know, including obviously the internet and everything else that uh, you know, factors into how you are getting your music out. Um, could you have done this um, sooner than you had, yeah, than you, than you have? No, I think there was a there was a reason it was no. I don't I don't think I I don't think I would have made these I don't think I would have made these styles of records any sooner. It was specifically informed by social choices that I you know lifestyle choices I was making in New York. You know as far as where I would go and what kind of music would surround me. Mm. So I think that's. I think that's got a lot to do with it as well. You know, live, you know, when I was living in Minnesota, there was nothing but punk rock around, really. Mm. You know, either that or the, you know, the North Minneapolis, you know, Prince, mm. or, you know, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, you know, Alexander O'Neill, that kind of the time or that kind of stuff. Right. But, you know, you know, as far as going down the electronic route, that was, you know, that was specifically just being bombarded by that music because you, you can't really get away from it in New York. Right. So you capitulated um, and said, I can do this better. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, when, you know, it, it, it's really funny because, uh, you know, I, my partner and I have just moved to, to Washington, D.C. Okay. And, 
it was funny, we went back to New York last week to see friends and I had a show up there. And all of a sudden it was like, we were right back, you know, when you get away from New York for four or five months, mm. you, you don't hear the same sounds. The rhythm is different and you gotta work with what you got. But going back to New York, it was like, you start hearing Madonna everywhere. You start hearing electronic music everywhere. It's like, oh yeah, now I remember this. Which is, which is different than ever. Yeah, which I mean, perhaps where you are now, you're in a, a better place creatively than being bombarded. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Everything I've been writing down here is much slower, but I think that's because it's been a hundred degrees and incredibly humid for the last month and a half. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's just you gotta you give in to you. you yeah, capitulate is a good word. You just gotta give in to where you're at. Too. But it is a I think you've you've uh, put up the white flag uh, honorably, and I think you've. Uh, uh, maintained and created a, um, a new persona, which I think is, um, which I think excites, certainly excites me as a fan, um, and I think a, a lot of people as well um, enjoy the fact that perhaps yes, they won't get it on first listen, but um, so you know, for for the first time in a while, that here is music that actually challenges you rather than yes, hearing Madonna and buying into it immediately. There's there's more than a couple of layers here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, you know, I think, I think for the fans, you know, I mean, I tried to, you know, I tried to sort of point out to people as it was all going by, you know, in 1989 when I put out Workbook, you know, the first four minutes of that record confused the hell out of you. And then all of a sudden it was, and then all of a sudden it was okay. Granted, that was closer to what I had just done, maybe, I don't I, mm -hmm. same instruments, I guess, but... Mm -hmm. So you know, it's, this this wasn't without precedent. Although you know, it was a it was a pretty hard U turn. Mm -hmm. but, but it's a bit of a Yeah, as you say, in a way, working towards it. But um, as much as your fans don't know, uh, weren't aware of the path. Perhaps in some respects, that's the beauty of it. Neither do you, and uh, you're letting it lead you rather than you leading it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I do. You know, it wasn't it wasn't so much sitting down, and you know, I knew I needed to do something different, but I had no idea what it was going to be. <laughs> well, I think the results are certainly not contrived, and, uh, uh, which is, which is, uh, I think, like, all, with, with all the music that you, you know, that you have released, uh, that's uh, part of the magic that gives it its, certainly gives it, gives it its longevity. Appreciate that. Great. Well, thank you. I, I really appreciate your time. It's been, as I say, it's been a, a real honor for me to actually speak to you, because uh, you're up there in the top five of, uh, of uh, all the interviews I have yet to conduct in my oh, okay. career. I appreciate, I appreciate that, Jason. Thanks. Great, and good luck with it. And um, hopefully we can perhaps chat to you uh, when uh, when you finish off uh, the record that you're on at the moment. Yep, that'll be early next year. I'm sure we'll be sure we'll be talking again. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Nick. Good luck. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye.